What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here today and I am at a pond and let me tell you, I am super excited because we have had some crazy warm weather. We literally pulled up here, I made one cast and I caught a fish already before we even got the camera rolling. So we're gonna have a little fun today, but I have something very, very exciting to show you all. I have a huge box of brand new mock soft plastics right here. I'm gonna pull them out, I'm gonna show them to you all, gonna show you all the new packaging and some of the new baits and what, you know, what they are, some of the colors, and they're exclusively available right now at Tackle Warehouse only. And I have a code in the description that you click on that, it will take you right there and you will be able to purchase these baits. But I'm gonna open up this box, show them to you all. I am super excited about these. And we are gonna back the boat in after I show them to y'all and we're gonna catch some fish on them. So let's go ahead and show you all these baits. All right, so let's open up this box and let me show y'all what we got going on here. I've got a ton of mock soft plastics and let me tell you, this packaging looks absolutely amazing. Y'all know my favorite color is lime green, so they just, this just lines up perfectly for me. Check that out. Really nice packaging right there. This is the mock crawl and this is in a fire crawl color. I'm not gonna show y'all every single color that we have available. Like I said, you can go right on Tackle Warehouse, click that link uh, down below, and you can go right there and check out all the colors. But this is the Mock Crawl in Fire Crawl. Mock Crawl, we have a black and blue right there. Let's see, what else do we have? This is a color I am super excited about. This is called Mud Candy. This is almost like a tilapia magic. And if y'all know, watch my videos in the past, I love a tilapia magic bait to flip absolutely awesome i got one right here on the deck i'm going to show y'all this is what the crawl looks like this is a three and a half inch this is the green pumpkin purple and gold flake i've been catching a lot of fish on this one using it as a jig trailer and now it's finally warming up so i'm going to be able to catch some fish on this on a standard texas rig so awesome little bait has a nice slow flap when it falls and i'm super excited about that crawl. So next up, right here, we have the mock stick. So this is the mock stick. I'm gonna pop one out of this package for y'all real quick and just show y'all the, all the packaging is the same as that lime green, but it's really cool how they have what it is on the back. So right here we have, you know, it shows you the mock stick and it also, it's a 4.75 inch wacky rig, Texas rig, Nico rig. It actually has, you know, what you can use it for on the back. Super, super cool. This is the watermelon red flake right here. And there's a color down here that I want to show y'all that I'm super excited that these mock stick baits come in. And I think I got it all the way down in the bottom. I just barely peeked in this box last night. So let me see if I can find these bad boys real quick. I'm probably gonna pull out every single bait that I have before I find the ones that I'm looking for. Because let me tell you, it is a wad of baits in here. But once I find them, you'll know why they're so easy to see. But they are down here. I don't know how in the world I have not found them yet. They are the brightest color in the box. I'm about to just, you know what? We're just gonna dump it out. We're gonna dump all these baits right here on the back of the boat. Y'all check out that. God. Let's see if I can find this, oh, there they are right there. Bubble gum. Bubble gum is one of my absolute favorite colors. It is a killer in the spring and also the rivers that I fish. It is a phenomenal color in the summertime. Throwing that as a wacky rig, I was super excited for these baits to come in bubble gum. So that is the stick worm, the mock stick. And let me tell you, like I said, ton of different colors available in this. So be sure to check those out as well. Next up, we have the mock mega worm. This is a this is an 8.3 inch. So it's a pretty big worm. This is also the mud candy color right here. So this is the mock mega worm right here on the back, Texas rig, Carolina rig. You can also put it on a shaky head. And it's really cool because it has see it in action right here. It has a code that you can kind of take your phone camera, put it up to, and check out the action of these baits but 
there's a color that I'm very excited that this came in as well. And I just, I got so many baits are all over the place. But anyway, it is plum, the color plum. I absolutely love blues. Y'all know I love blue colors. And let me see if I can find them real quick for y'all. We're doing this intro right here, no cuts. But, well, there's Junebug. Junebug is good. Y'all know Junebug is absolutely phenomenal. Really everywhere, Junebug is good, but especially in like dark tannic waters, uh, you know, Junebug is really good in. And I'm probably not gonna be able to find this plum, but anyway, it's, it's in here somewhere amongst all of the, there it is, Blue Fleck, right there. But we have plum available as well, but Blue Fleck, is also one of my favorite colors in the rivers that I fish because they love blue. They love blue. So anyway, that is the worm. And I'm gonna show y'all that right there. It's just a big ribbon tail worm. Has these nice ribs. All the mock lures, mock saw plastics have this ribbed section on the bottom of them. Really, really great bait, 8.3 inches. So it's a good size, not a huge worm, but not a small worm, so it will get those big bites. And when you take that thing in the summertime, drag it over deep water, that will catch some big fish. So last but not least, this thing is an absolute killer. If you've been paying attention to MLF, BASS, the guys have been catching a ton of fish out suspended with forward facing sonar using a small minnow style bait. And right here, this is a fantastic bait for that, let me tell you. This is the mock schooler. So I'm trying to make sure y'all can see that right there with the sunshine. But the mock schooler, that is a perfect little bait right there. Three and a half inch, I believe, oh, it's four inch. Four inch right there on a jig head, a small jig head, like a eighth ounce. You know, you can throw it on a quarter ounce, whatever you want to throw it on. But let me tell you, that thing is an absolutely awesome bait you can also use it as a spinnerbait trailer or a chatterbait trailer you can throw it a bunch of different ways but it is a great little bait i got one right here this is in the sexy shad color so y'all can see that right there it is a beautiful little bait we'll get it right here in the sunshine that is a awesome bait right there and like i said if you've been paying paying attention to the pros they have been absolutely crushing big bass using this technique so as I said, all of these baits are available now on Tackle Warehouse. You can use the link in the description below. Check them out. A bunch of different colors, ones that I didn't show y'all, but really, really good. I mean, there they are right there. The selection, got the crawl. Y'all know I'm going to crush them on that crawl. I mean, I'm super pumped. I'm going to get all these worms, throw them back in this box. I'm going to get a few, put them in the boat, and we're going to go out on the water and catch some fish. I'm probably gonna be flipping the crawl. My wife is probably gonna be throwing the mock stick, and I really have a feeling that the mock stick is gonna be crushing them because I see some beds and I think some fish are gonna be on some beds. And let me tell you, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So let's go ahead, let's get the John boat put in. Let's catch them. All right, y'all, so we got the boat successfully launched, back in right over there. So here's my wife, first time ever on the channel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her the good old wacky rig. And I have Junebug on there right now. Do you wanna throw Junebug or do you wanna throw bubble gum? Um, I prefer bubble gum. All right, so she wants to throw bubble gum in the mock stick. So what I have right here, this is just a little flicket head. This is a 16th ounce. So we're gonna take bubble gum mock stick right here. And we're gonna put this bad boy on. And what you wanna do, you wanna always take this worm and hold it and kind of find, you know, where it where it kind of is evenly proportioned as far as what's hanging down. So we're right there, kind of right in the middle of the egg sac right there. And we're gonna check it to make sure that it falls good. And it does. Oh my goodness, you're gonna crush them on that thing. All right. So there are some big fish in here. I've caught them up to six and a half pounds. So we're gonna see if today we can break that. But I'm gonna start off with the mock crawl. I already have one rigged up where I fish. Oh, I picked up, I picked up the jig. We don't want the jig right now. I want the mock crawl. So here we go. Got the good old mock crawl right here. This is in the green pumpkin, purple, gold flake. I got a little bit of chartreuse 
on the feet right there. So we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. That's all you gotta do, throw it out there, let it sink, and just take your rod tip and just hop it a little bit. That is it. So mock crawl and the mock stick. We're gonna see if we can get absolutely smoked. Water temps right now, I'm not 100% sure what they are. This is, it's on 78 right now. It's definitely got to got to uh, drop down a little bit. It's not quite that warm. It's very warm, but it's not quite, not quite that warm. So as we work our way down, this is a very shallow pond, except for, oh, a fish has come up right there. Except for the lower end is the deeper end. Oh, one's got it. Oh, whoa, one was on it. I'm up here talking and dang it. Well, one just bit the mock crawl, but as we work to the lower end, it gets deeper. I don't want to get on the bank right now because I'm pretty sure that there are going to be some fish up there spawning already because it's so warm, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And they might be off the bank just a, just a touch, but we'll find out. Right now we're in six foot of water. And this pond is finally back up to basically full pool. Oh, a fish was right there, just moved. Because it had been low forever. Like it had been super, super low. And it's finally came back up. But it's been at least a couple months since I've been out here. So maybe we can get old big girl to bite. We're gonna just flip along and, oh, I just landed on another fish. They are right under the surface like they're literally sitting right under the surface oh there's a bite right there got one on the mock crawl got him oh it's a little guy it's a little teeny guy well, that's all right there's fish number one a beautiful fish too the colors on these fish are so pretty in here because the water is like really really clear it has that really dark color to it because it's swamp fed but there's number one for the mock crawl. We gotta, we gotta get one to eat that bubble gum mock, mock stick right there. Got a little piece of grass on it. You might wanna. I just had a spider on my rod. And oh, really? <laughs> oh. Got one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he ate that thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. He's going to slap you in the face. <laughs> there you go. First bass on the mock stick. Bubble gum. That fish come up and inhaled it. Well, he played with it for a little bit. Then he come up and ate it. Nice. So we got one on the crawl and one on the mock stick. And she is throwing that on the mock jack six foot nine inch medium light combo. That is the perfect rod and reel combo for a wacky rig and also for like a drop shot. Absolutely perfect. So I got all the mock stuff linked in the description below as well as far as the rod and reels. Oh my goodness, that fish almost took the rod out of my hand. That felt like a pretty nice fish. Would you have a kink in the line? No, the line went over top of the... Oh, over top of the bale? Yeah. Gotcha. Man, I just got smoked. Oh, one's got it. One's got mine. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a, oh we come off. Throw right here to this corner right here. There's a bunch of them, I think, gonna be stacked up in this little corner. I'm gonna turn the boat so you can throw, kind of throw right up to there. Yep, get it down in there. It's probably a good little corner they're gonna be stacked up in. Oh. Got one, oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There he is. I must like the bubble gum. Yeah. I mean, hey, there are big fish in here. There's a bunch of fish, you know, smaller fish, kind of that size as well. 
but they are fun to catch. You know, probably some fish needed to be taken out of here, probably, but you know, there you go. Another beautiful little bass. Yeah, the wind's blowing right into this corner, so it's probably gonna be a pretty good little stack of fish up here. One bit it. Bunch of dinkers. Hopefully one of us gets into a a better fish. Hopefully you get one. I'd like for you to get like a five pounder, that'd be nice. What's the biggest I've ever caught? Not a five pounder. The biggest bass. You've never caught a five pound bass. Yeah, I knew that. You like, maybe <laughs> you haven't caught any really big bass. Maybe two pounds, maybe. So maybe you can get your PB today. That would be nice. I'm gonna let you get the cast up here in the good in the good stuff, up in a juice. You just kind of pitch out away from the bank. Oh, one just smoked mine. Oh, dude, that fish just cut my line. That fish is, I've never had a fish in here cut my line. Have Pike got in here? He cut my line clean. Throw right there to that, to that uh, spot when you make a cast, right there to the, okay. That fish literally cut my line. I have not had a fish in here ever cut my line before. And that fish just cut it clean. Hmm. All right. Yeah, he was right in there. Oh, I saw that fish bite it. He's on it. He's swimming to the left with it, ain't he? Yeah, he's on it. Okay, good. There you go. There you good. go. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to lose another one. I was like, look at that fish is like stout to be as small as he is. That's a stout little dude. Oh, you got him. These little grass things are poking me. Oh, one just bit mine. I'm gonna set the hook sideways so I don't set it towards you. I did I had to set it sideways so I didn't like hit you in the head. There's another one. Okay, so but I have a review. These little things get on my nerves. <laughs> Because when I'm trying to get the hook out of the fish's mouth the whole time, this is stabbing. The wire, the wire weed guard. It's stabbing. Put it. Just push him finger. up. Just push him up. Just push him up. Oh, that's frustrating. That way they won't. That way they won't stick in your finger no more. Oh, he's got it. There we go. There we go. That's a. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. All right. Get in here. On the mock crawl. Thank you, buddy. I come up and he was swimming off to the side with it. And I was like, yeah, there we go. Nice little dude. Pretty fish. Thank you, buddy. He made a big old splash when he went back in the water. <laughs> oh, this corner is loaded. That's a better one, too. Yeah, this corner is loaded up. He looks yeah, he's about the same. He's just fat. He's just he fat. Yeah, this corner has got him. It's a little bit deeper right here. So these fish are stacked up. Look, another one's got mine already. I just missed him. <laughs> oh, he just cut my line again. Oh, it must be the same one. No, that's it's got to be a pickerel up there. It has got to be a pickerel up there because it just cut my line clean again. That is unstole two tungsten. So what is that? Four to two? Four to two. And I'm just losing money here because I got fish cutting my line. You've got to be kidding me. I'm getting my butt whooped. So the second fish just cut my line and I've never caught a pickerel in here, but 
that's got to be what we got going on. We got an old pickerel done found his way into the pond and he keeps cutting me off. See if he bites again. I'm in a very awkward position to be setting the hook. I'm trying to keep the boat up into the wind so we don't blow up on the bank and I can't set the hook to the right because I don't want my bait to fly out and hit my wife in the face, but it's Wouldn't kind of, yeah, well, I've never hit you in the face with, with a, a with a bass maybe, but not with a bullet weight. <laughs> hey, that's a perfect cast right there. Oh, one was on it. Yeah, he's on it already. Oh, I was going to say that was a perfect cast. Might come out and bite it again. That fish has got it again. The or the Whatever fish it is. Got him that time. Ah, he's little. That ain't the same one. He's not cutting 20 pound test. Not that guy. So what do you got? You got four on the mock stick and I got three on the mock crawl. I think. A little friendly competition here. Yeah, I want that, that fish to bite this thing again. Oh, I just cannot set the hook that way. Like, this is horrible. <laughs> I mean, I cannot set the hook. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> good for you, horrible for me. Yeah, like, I've, I'm in such an odd position to try to set the hook. Oh, he's on it again. <laughs> I got him that time. <laughs> Oh, you lost one. <laughs> All right. So how many, is that four? Three. No, that's four for me. That's four. He's a little dinker. That's four. That's a big fish. That's a better one. That's a better one. I could tell by the way he was swimming. Not a giant. Chill out, buddy. Number six. They're definitely liking this crawl. I switched over to this, to the Okeechobee crawl, which has some blue in it. I stuck him. He was not coming off. But has some blue in it, and these fish really seem to like it. Right there, I'm a, I'll show you all the, the blue after I get this rigged. Oh, I just pulled my feet right off. It got hung on my hook. Oh, see that? Did you see this? That bass just jumped out of the water behind us. That was crazy. Always oh, on it. <clears throat> that's a little bit better one. Yeah, that's a little bit better one. Yeah, that's a nice one there. He's fat. Oh my god, look how fat that one is. Wow. Look at the belly on that one. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty fish right there. On that, I just that was on the mud candy. Not crawl because I literally just ran out of. I got some more in the Jeep, but I ran out of the Okeechobee crawl that I had in the boat. So put that mud candy back on. I think that fish was on a bed or up there around a bed, I believe. My line is all loose on my spool. I got to get that off. All right, so I'm switching over the wacky cinco for my wife to a green pumpkin red flake a big fish was over here boiling right here and they're just not reacting to that bubble gum as good as i feel like they should be so i'm gonna let her throw this and see if she gets a little bit better reaction out of the fish there's a spot up here that's probably gonna have a ton of fish in it it's where the swamp runs into this pond and fills it 
It's a really good spot. Oh God, that fish is crushing. I couldn't even get it away from him. He was biting it so good. It's a decent little fish. Oh, you got one. Get him. Oh, that's a nice one. There we go. Doubled up. Doubled up. Oh. <laughs> now I'm not going to get him if he's on the ground. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Get him by the mouth. You got him. There you go. So that's what, your fifth? Your that's fifth. Number five. So as I said, we switched up to that watermelon red. And she has picked up getting a few more bites since she switched over. So we're going to keep on going along this bank and just hoping we run into a great big one. I want one of us to run into a great big one. Did he bite that off the bank a little bit more? I think so. Yeah. All right, so we doubled up. Was that your biggest one of the day? Yeah. That was your biggest? We still got to try to beat your PB of, I'm going to say two pounds. It might not even be two pounds, it's but so yeah. It's been quite a while since my wife has fished with me. We're, we're going to be honest here, but we're out here having some fun today, trying out these new mock bait. Oh, she got another one. Oh, that is a little... Teeny one. Oh, you uh, <laughs> That is a little guy right there. He won't scare though. No. Ah, I'm sad. I don't like these things in my finger. That is a little <laughs> He's so pretty though. Like those colors. He's so cute. I mean those colors are beautiful. <laughs> nice. So what? Oh, that's six. That's six. That's he counts. So it don't matter the size. He counts. That's number six. Oh, get in here. <laughs> this is number nine for me. Is it? I thought this is number eight. That's number nine. <laughs> cheating going on. Oh, no. Cheating, come on now. We don't got no cheating going on. <laughs> Might be an old bed, but it's a bed. Oh gosh, got smoked. He's on it. <laughs> That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just slung my craw off. Come here. Look how white that fish's belly is. Like that's crazy how white his like underside is. That is a pretty dude. Thank you. That was number 10. Number 10. So I mean we caught 15 fish total. That's not bad. Mm -mm. It's pretty, pretty. Pretty good little trip around the pond. When I popped it off that corner, that fish just throttled it. I honestly think these fish are biting the crawl better. Even though you've gotten right many bites on that, I think just overall they're biting the crawl better yeah, on the bottom. I think the Texas like rig, yeah. I think the Texas rig bite is just a little teeny bit better. When I'm getting it out off the bank, they're really popping this good i think it's just whatever they like this profile a little bit better up oh, i just had another one literally pull down right then oh look at all the bait brim or something that just moved right here when we came in here and pulled up there was fish up on this bank right here and they just scattered everywhere so I'm thinking we might be able to get some right here. Got a little bit of slime on there. Oh, you got him. Oh, that's a, there you go. Oh, no. There you go. Yay. Number six. He's 
on the mock stick. There we go, another one. Good deal. There ought to be some more right up here too. Up, right up here, oh yeah, there's fish up here. They moved all around when I just cast it up there. Yeah, because I caught one right here when we first started. I casted a popper up there and that fish absolutely smoked it. That's perfect, you'll probably get bit. I was reset. Oh, there we go. Wait, 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 that's a big one. There we go. <laughs> like, I was resetting the cameras because she had literally just caught one and she just caught another one back to back cast. This is the biggest one. That is the biggest one you caught today. So that's number seven, right? Six. Seven. Seven. Nice. Yeah, I'm catching that's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. It slung your worm off. Oh, where'd he go? Yep, no, that's all right. I swung it off because... No, it, uh, it's all right. We'll get you another one. Oh, yeah, we'll get you another one. I swung one. it off because I knew it was bigger <laughs> than all the other ones, so... Good deal. I'm going to make sure I got one. I'm going to put you a little bit of chartreuse on the... You got water on you. Got some water slung on you. Had to get him in the boat, though. We get a little bit of chartreuse sprayed on you. On the end of it here. There you go. I have a little bit of grass. Oh, oh, oh yeah, another one. I think I got a stick on it. Hey, that might have been the worm. Oh, yes. Oh, dude. <laughs> Number eight. He swung my worm off the beach. Oh, he did? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. We can probably put that one back on. You were catching up with me. That's number eight. He's got scars on him. Oh, he does have his. scars all over him. Pretty fish, though. Nice. Yeah, no, it's like. Did it, did it rip it? Oh, we can reuse that. Yep. We can reuse that. No problem. What am I? Nice. Seven? You got eight now. Eight. Yeah. Let's see if I can catch one off my boat trailer. <laughs> Throw up there again, it is a good stack of fish right there. Oh, there's one, a little one. Number 11, got him on the outside of the mouth. There you go, buddy. That was number 11 for me. So you got eight. You got eight. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We don't have much longer to fish. So what I'm going to do is the first time we went down this side, and we're going to do this very quickly. First time, time we went down the side, she was throwing bubble gum. So we're going to go right here into this corner, and then we're going to let her fish that and quickly go back to those trees back here in this corner. And we we're only going to do this maybe 15 minutes. And we're going to give her a chance to try to catch up. You got another one? I'm up here talking about giving her a chance to catch up. And she's done got another one. Well, there's number nine. <laughs> I'm up here talking about giving her a chance to catch up. And she's catching up without me even wanting her to. There must be a stack of fish up there. Grass things. In them. There we go. So that's what, number nine. I think you've done figure that thing out. It probably helps with the little garlic spray. Yeah, that little garlic spray, they like that. So look, we're gonna go down this side very quickly, very quickly. And this is gonna be all you because I'm not even gonna make another cast. Oh I'm not even gonna make another cast. I'm gonna just keep the boat going down. Got the camera right here running. We're gonna see what you can do. Oh, you have got another one. <laughs> well, there's number 10. <laughs> I didn't even know he was really up there. Well, wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. We're going to hurt ourselves with these grass bars. Number 10. Number 10. All right. All right, we got to get you another. Did it throw the stick off? I don't know where it, it did. Is. It's right here. 
just just to do it i'm gonna oh, i'm gonna throw the popper there you go, like. <laughs> i gotta throw the, i gotta get one to come up and bite the popper you got a nut oh that's a nice one that's a good one is it oh it's not quite as big but hey i got 11. you are crushing them now that thing is like crushing them you see how pretty these fish it is unbelievable how pretty these fish are like the markings on the side see mm -hmm. his cheek plate that is a pretty fish pretty green number 11. 11. it's 11 11 right now tied up I've done picked up the popper. I'm just enjoying you catching these fish. I just want to see you catch a big one. I mean, there are some big ones in here. It's so many little ones in here, but like I said, there are some quality fish in here too. If she could just tie into a two plus, that would be absolutely perfect. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, wait, I saw your rod. I got scared for my life. <laughs> scared. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, I'm not setting the hook hard. I'm not setting the hook hard at all. Like, I'm literally not setting the hook hard at all. Like, I'm just throwing it up there. Watch this. Were they biting it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, unless he's coming back, he's coming back, so. No, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Here, throw it, throw it there to um to that side right there. You're good. The worm's good. Yeah. <laughs> now set the hook in them. Don't worry about me. Because if a big one bites it, like you're gonna have to. Where'd I go? I think you're. It, yeah. Because if a big one bites it, you're gonna have to like. You're gonna have to put it in them. To uh, because their mouths are a lot tougher. But I mean, that hook's sharp though. There you go. Oh, that's a nice one. I think the other ones are bigger. Yeah, he's not quite as big, but that's number 12. Yes. Um, how did you do this, dude? Number 12. Hopefully you get the big one right here. We're gonna drift into this corner. We're gonna see if we can get her. Still searching for that PB. But this is the most fish I've ever caught in one day. The most bass you've ever caught in one day? Okay. Probably the most fish. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, you might be right. I don't know, when we've shad fished in the past, you've caught right many. Maybe. Yeah. I just wanted, I didn't even get closer. He's on it already. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a solid one. You know, I probably should take a picture of you. Just, just to take a picture of you holding a fish. Well, you got all the video footage. Yeah, but I'm just taking a picture. Wait a minute. I got hair and I got line all in my face. <laughs> There we go. 13. 13. 13. This is where you're going to get the big one. If you're going to get one, it's going to be right here. That's a good cast. I hear a frog up there. I heard him earlier when we were back here. Or somewhere. So what do you think about the new mock baits? They work, don't they? I think so. They work. They Especially work. Especially for someone who doesn't go fishing. Yeah. I mean, day. this is the first time you've been fishing in how long? Years. Five or six years, probably. I think your cast has been pretty on point uh -huh. as well for as long as it's been since you've casted a rod and reel. Pretty, pretty dang good. One's uh, Is one on that? I thought one was swimming out with it. One is on it. Oh, no. That was probably a good one. He was swimming out with it hard. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Oh no! <laughs> Where'd he go? Dang it! Dang it! He picked it back up. Oh no! Well, that was 
I think that was a pretty nice fish. Darn. I'm just trying to keep the boat away from it. Yep, bring it through. Yep, let it, yep, let it drop. I've got to pitch up here where that fish, <laughs> where that fish broke me off twice. I got to pitch up there. One just bit it. He's on it. <laughs> oh, it's a little guy. It is definitely not what broke me off. Or what cut me off. Didn't even break me off. Little guy. Two more, huh? Oh. I think we're gonna do that. Oh, I ain't got a bait. That's a perfect ending to the story. We gotta put what? How many have you caught? Twelve. And I just caught number twelve. So you gotta get another that, one. We can't end in a tie. That is your own fault. Yeah. <laughs> you your own fault. Look, you're gonna get a big you one. Suppose. Look, you're gonna get a big one on this side. You're gonna get a big one on this side, and I want you to get him. So hand me, gra hand me that bag of sticks right there. Those mock sticks. There's watermelon red flake. Right there. Oh, yep. Ooh. I'm gonna put a little bit of chartreuse on the tail of it and I'm gonna let you fish this corner. I'm not gonna throw another cast. Yeah, like that's your own problem. Like, <laughs> that I tied it up, but I, been done. but I want you to get a big one. You're gonna get a big one right here. My poor little hands. There you go. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a nice one. That's not a five pounder, but that's a nice one. There we go. There we go. We're going to finish it up on that one? I think so. Think so. All right. It's time to eat. We're going to go home and cook some steaks, and she said it's time to go eat. I agree with her. I agree with her. So. That's number 13. 13 bass. That's pretty dang good. I caught 12. We caught 25 fish total. That's a pretty little fish. <laughs> All right. All right. So, we done? Yeah. You did good. You did good. I mean, we tore them up on the mock bait, y'all. The mock stick. She originally started throwing the bubble gum. I caught them on a variety of different colors on the mock crawl. She switched over to the green pumpkin red flake and I'll spray in the tip of the tail with chartreuse spray. We had a good time. We had a good time. Bunch of fish, like I said, be sure to click and check out that link in the bio on Tackle Warehouse only. Get your mock baits there and I appreciate it. When you buy some, it does help support the channel when you use my link. So, what do you say? See you next time on Gunfish TV.